Good morning, 7SDE. Today's discussion will be about Quarter 3, Module 6, Human Interactions with the Environment. Objectives. Describe how human interactions with the environment can be beneficial or harmful. At the end of this module, you are expected to 1. Identify the different kinds of human-environment interactions. 2. Describe the beneficial and harmful effects of human interactions to Earth's entire ecological system. And 3. Suggest ways on how to eliminate the negative impacts of human interactions to an environment. What I know. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the letter of your choice on your answer sheet. See pages 1 to 3 of Quarter 3, Module 6. What's in? Directions. Search for the terms related to climate change. So let us answer what's in. So the different words that can be found in our puzzle are climate change, carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, climate, weather, carbon footprint, glacier, global warming, global climate, and greenhouse gases. What's new? Let's find out. Choose the descriptions below that best describe the following illustrations. Our choices are letter A, illegal logging. B, billions of people depend on forests for food, fuel, and livelihood. C, loss of natural resources. D, billions of pollinators lost their habitat. E, trees cool the atmosphere and store greenhouse gases. And F, loss of biodiversity. Let us answer what's new. Number one, this illustration depicts illegal logging. So the answer for number one is letter A. Next, for number two and number four, we have a picture of a denuded forest. So if there is deforestation, the effects would be letter C, loss of natural resources, and letter F, loss of biodiversity. So for both number 2 and number 4, the answers are letter C and letter F. Next, number 3, if we continue to destroy our environment, there would be billions of pollinators lost their habitat. And for number 5, the answer is letter B, billions of people depend on forests for food, fuel, and livelihood. Let us now start our discussion about human interactions with the environment. Human-environment interaction can be described as the connection between human beings and the whole ecological unit. The human social system and environment are complex adaptive system. They are complex since ecological unit and human social system have lots of elements and connections between them. The adaptiveness is because of the feedback system that supports survival in continuously changing surroundings. So simply put, human-environment interaction is the way people adjust and modify the environment. There are three types of human-environment interactions. Number one, the way people depend on the environment for food, water, timber, natural gas, etc. Number two, the way people adapt to the environment to fulfill their needs. And number three, the way people modify the environment positively or negatively. So let us now discuss the different kinds of human-environment interactions. So number one, use of natural resources. So why do people interact with the environment? It's because of their need for natural resources. So people use various types of natural resources like timber, metals, and oil in their day-to-day -day lives. There is also need for food and water for existence. These resources are also required to produce clothes, transport services, constructions, electronic devices, and other materials. The need for natural resources keeps on increasing as the populace keeps on growing and utilization 
per individual also rises with socio-economic advancement. So, exhaustion of natural resources through extraction and abuse is particular concerns for resources that cannot be renewed. So, because of our fast-growing population, the number of our natural resources keeps on getting lesser and lesser. And this is a particular concern, especially for natural resources that cannot be renewed, such as fossil fuels. Number two, deforestation. It occurs when trees are cut down, not replaced, and not allowed to grow back. Countries such as Ethiopia, Mexico, Brazil, America, and India have cleared a lot of its forests for economic and agricultural resolutions to meet the demand for food, fuel, and construction materials. These actions have led to a steady damage of regions with forests, and it continues. Deforestation has a lot of undesirable results. Forests are home to different species of trees, plants, and extensive variety of animals, from small insects to birds, mammals, and reptiles. So if we are going to destroy our forest, all of these different species of plants and animals would become extinct. Altering or changing forests to agricultural areas decreases biodiversity, which is vital for human beings since they use other living organisms in providing several requirements such as number one, food, number two, medication, and number three, ecological processes. So many plants such as wheat, rice, and maize, and animals such as fish, chicken, and cows are used as sources of food. Next, a lot of conventional medicines are extracted from plants and animals. Brand new ones are developed from them. And organisms such as plant life and microorganisms have a crucial role of maintaining people's lives and the ecosystem by giving air, purifying the air, decontaminating the water, decomposing waste, and preventing soil erosion. Deforestation is also a major contributor to soil erosion. The minute trees are chopped down, the land below gets exposed. Without trees to bind the soil together, the soil has a higher probability of being carried away during the rainy seasons. Losing forest also have an enormous influence on the water supply. When trees are available, it is capable of reaching deep into the ground and build room between the constituents. In return, the soil permeability increases, allowing rainwater to emerge and replenish the floor water. So in short, if we have plenty of trees, we would have more water. Number three, Oil and gas drilling. Humans extract oil and gas for many uses. However, the extraction of oil and gas has a lot of damaging effects to the ecosystem. Oil spills have enormous financial results. They impede transportation and injure inhabitants. For instance, birds lose their potential of chasing for food and chance of survival when they get oiled. Spills also expose individual to seafood that is not safe for eating. Offshore drilling produces waste substances that when they get into the water, end up poisoning marine animals. The risk of getting injured and dying is also always there while drilling for oil. Numerous people have ended up dying from storms and drilling accidents. The actions from oil and gas drilling equally leave behind deep-seated effects to the scenery. The heavy machinery such as bulldozers and the building of roads in the process end up devastating the environment, sometimes permanently. The main product from drilling is methane. It contributes to climate alteration and the result is global warming. This global warming consists of changes in rainfall patterns, melting of glaciers, and an increase in sea level. 
Number four, use of energy resources. Consumption of renewable or non-renewable sources of energy exhibit human-environment interaction as the energy is used to power transport and communication systems, electrical equipment, our homes, as well as offices. Fossil fuels, for instance, have been the components in the world's globalization. So, since it cannot be renewed, the amount is eventually insufficient and their usage is not sustainable in the long run. So, here we have an illustration of the different examples of fossil fuels. Number one, natural gas. Number two, petroleum. And number three, coal. So, these fossil fuels are all non-renewable. So, it means that it would take a very long time for them to be replaced and their use is not uh, sustainable in the long run. Burning of fossil fuels is the major cause of climate modification. So last week we have discussed about climate change and we learned that one of the major causes why there is a global or regional change in climate patterns is because of fossil fuel usage. There are a number of renewable energy that can be used as, rep as replacement for fossil fuels like wind energy, hydroelectric energy, and solar energy. Number 5. Use of water resources. The use of water resources is an indication of human-environmental interaction. Water has lots of uses, from household to agricultural and in industrial processes. The relative quantities of the three groups vary in many parts of the world. So for household, we use water for washing our clothes, preparing our food, for drinking, for taking a bath, for brushing our teeth, and many more. In agriculture, water is used to water the crops. In industries, water is used for different processes involved in the production of a particular product. However, agriculture commonly uses the largest quantity of water. The rising demand in water is leading to unsustainable usage of water sources. Taking extreme quantities of it from water bodies for use, whether domestic, agricultural, or industrial, cuts its percentage. Therefore, it limits the availability for present and upcoming generations. Universally, withdrawals of water have increased over the decades because of the growing population and the increase in usage per individual. So let us take a look at, uh, at the map. So this map shows the places with water stress around the world. So, those places that are marked with a dark red color shows extreme water stress. So, 17 countries, mostly in the Middle East, face the risk of extremely high water stress. So, these places include the following. So, the top 10 are Qatar, Israel, Lebanon, Iran, Jordan, Libya, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Eritrea and the United Arab Emirates. So the Philippines, here we are. We are also experiencing some uh, water stress. We are ranked 83 in the list and that is low to medium water stress. Number six, vehicle production. It is obvious that cars allow people to move faster and travel a longer distance. Despite all that, cars have been shifting the universe in a negative way. Transport services are accounted for over a third of the globe's greenhouse gas releases. Air pollution has become so deadly and is accountable for killing about 800,000 people each year. Accidents caused by vehicles is over 1.1 million lives annually. Creating roads usually lead to putting an end to ecological units. A lot of noise pollution is caused by vehicles. This noise ends up chasing numerous animals away from their usual habitation, thus placing them in the danger of extinction. 
Number seven, relationships between human activities and the surroundings. People start interconnecting with the environment from the moment they are born. For instance, individuals have been cutting down trees in the forest to clear ground for building houses or other infrastructure. The changes in the ecosystem have an influence on the people as well because of the changes in its environment. An example is the way individuals tend to change clothes in responding to the weather, either when it is cold or hot. Water that is clean and available Productive soil and optimal atmospheric conditions are characteristics of the physical environment that permits an individual to live and prosper. However, harsh environment like a very scorching weather, lack of water supply, and infertile soil make it hard for people to survive. People are also affected by environmental problems like erosion, floods, wildfires, drought, pollution, earthquakes, and tornadoes. These natural disasters can cause chaos, hurt or kill living organisms, and destroy houses and buildings. Furthermore, occurrences like earthquakes destroy water pipelines leading to water pollution and unavailability of clean water. Number 8. Use of aerosols the consumption of aerosols is toxic to the environment and gives out fumes that get into the air, promoting global warming. In addition, research has shown that the modern-day CFC-free aerosol sprays also release volatile organic compounds or VOCs that increase to ground-level ozone levels, a main element that causes asthma. Although the modern-day paint is harmful to the environment, more often than not, the substances that are used for removing paint off the walls are exceedingly more dangerous. There is a high risk of destroying the ecosystem when applying and throwing away chemicals that are used in painting. So let us be mindful of how we throw our waste so that our ecosystem would not be at risk. Number 9. Littering Litter has many adverse effects. It can cause the blockage of water paths during heavy rainfall. Dumping up plastics inappropriately causes them to flow towards water paths. After some time, the litter ends up blocking the filters placed in the pipes. As a result, the pipes end up bursting. So, littering is also one of the major reasons why here in the Philippines we have flooding, especially during the rainy season. So, garbage, especially plastic garbage, are found in our drainage systems. Another effect of littering is that it increases disease vectors like mosquitoes and fleas. Eventually, these vectors increase in numbers and spread diseases to animals and humans. That is why it is very important that we know how to dispose of our waste properly. So at home, let us practice proper waste segregation. Let us now answer the different activities in what's more. Independent Activity 1, Adverse Effects. Directions, identify the effects of pollution to people and environment. Write P if the illustration shows effect on people. And E if it shows effect on environment. 1. Breathing problem. 2. Burn. 3. Chemical reaction. 4. Headache. 5. Stomach ache. 6. Weakness. 7. Smog. 8. Skin rash, 9. Hole in the ozone layer, and 10. Deafness. Independent Assessment 1. Search for the link. Choose the terms inside the box that match the descriptions below. So we have human activities, environment, waste, and pollutants. For our choices, we have air, air pollutant, agriculture, energy production, industry, plants and animals, radioactive waste, soil and minerals, soil pollutants, transport, water, and water pollutant. So you are going to place this uh, word or phrases in their appropriate boxes. 
Next, independent activity 2, complete me. Complete the missing parts of the concept map. Choose the appropriate answers on the word bank. So we have deforestation, beneficial effects, harmful effects. For beneficial effects, we have urban development. Number 2 is blank. 3 is blank. Timber. Number 5 is blank. And then combustion. For harmful effects, number 1 is blank. So... Other harmful effects of deforestation include flooding, desertification, climate change, loss of habitat, and number six is blank. So you are going to choose from the words in the word bank. So letter A, climate change, B, combustion, C, cultivate, D, grazing, E, loss of habitat, and F, soil erosion. Next, independent assessment to scrambled vocabularies. Arrange the jumbled letters based on the given clues to reveal the hidden word. So number one, this is rain mixed with acids formed by gases and released into the atmosphere when fossil fuels are burned. Two, gases that trap the heat of the sun in the Earth's atmosphere producing the greenhouse effect. Three, a gradual warming of the Earth's surface temperature reportedly caused by the emission of gases that trap the sun's heat in the Earth's atmosphere. 4. Capable of being broken down or decomposed by natural biological processes. 5. Animals and plants in danger of becoming extinct. 6. Destruction of forests to develop land for agriculture. 7. The settings and outer conditions that affect the growth and development of living things. 8. Location where garbage, rubbish, or waste is taken and just dumped without environmental controls. 9. Fuels that are formed in the ground from the remains of dead plants and animals. And 10. It refers to changes in weather patterns. Independent Activity 3 Beneficial or Harmful Study the illustrations below, draw a happy face if human activity shows a beneficial effect on the environment, and sad face if it has a harmful effect. So these are the illustrations from number 1 up to number 10. So just draw a happy face if it's beneficial for the environment, and a sad face if it has a harmful effect for the environment. Independent Assessment 3. Crossword Riddle. Solve the crossword puzzle using the clues below. Fill each box with the letter of the correct answer. A cross. Number 2. It cannot be readily replaced. 5. A slow rise in the overall hotness of the Earth's atmosphere. 6. It is the environmental situation that limit the growth, abundance, and dispersal of organisms in an ecosystem. 7. The crops that a locality can support without environmental degradation. 9. The harmful effect of the presence of substance in the environment. Next, down, number 1. This is the act of clearing an extensive area of trees. 3. It may include goods or commodities such as wood, paper, and leather. 4. It is the increase in the number of individuals in a population. And number 8, the variation of life in the world or in a specific habitat or ecosystem. What I have learned. Choose an example of human-environment interaction. Give the beneficial and harmful effects of certain actions of humans to the environment. So you are going to complete uh, this uh, box. Example of human-environment interaction. You can choose from what we have discussed a while ago. Uh, from number 1 up to number 9. And then, you're going to write here the beneficial effects and letter B, the harmful effects of that human-environment interaction that you have chosen. So, this will be the rubrics for what I have learned. Uh, the criteria for grading will be accuracy and clarity of message. For accuracy, all facts about human interaction with the environment are accurate. And for clarity of message, all explanations given are clear and realistic. So, a perfect score uh, for the activity will be 10 over 10. Next, what I can do, name and draw 5 materials that can be recycled and 5 that cannot be recycled. So, you are going to draw them in these uh, boxes. So, first column, we have recyclable materials and second column, we have non-recyclable materials. 
So, this is the rubrics for what I can do, recyclable and non-recyclable materials. So, the criteria for grading are accuracy of the content and appearance. For accuracy of the content, the learner shows deep understanding on the human interaction with the environment. For appearance, the work is very artistically done and very attractive. So, 10 over 10 would be the perfect score for this activity. Assessment. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write your answer in your answer sheet. See pages 18 to 19 of quarter 3, module 6. Next, additional activity, performance task number 3.6. After gaining so much knowledge about our environment, it is now time to do your part even in your own simple way. Write a slogan on how to promote a healthy environment. Your work will be graded based on the given rubrics below. So the criteria for grading will be accuracy of the content, appearance, and clarity of the message. So for the accuracy of the content, the learner shows deep understanding on the human interaction with the environment. Appearance, the work is very artistically done and very attractive. And last one, clarity of the message, an accurate and very clear message is expressed. So for NVISI Quarter 3, Module 6, Human Interactions with the Environment, you need to have the following on your answer sheet. What I know, what's more, answer independent activities 1, 2, 3, independent assessments 1, 2, 3, what I have learned, what I can do, assessment, and the additional activity. So the additional activity will also be your performance task number 3.6. So, if you are done answering, upload your answer sheets in your Google Drive folder. The path would be Environmental Science, Quarter 3, Module 6. So, review module number 5 and 6 for summative test number 3. Answer the test via Google Forms. Link to be sent after Module 6 discussion. So, thank you for attending our Environmental Science online class. God bless you all.